What's up guys, Power Bang here, bringing you the next live attack. Now, this one is gonna be a little bit different. Um, as you probably have noticed, I'm over in WHF Rising right now, and I am uh, doing a little Town Hall 8 war action, so I figured why not record a live Town Hall 8 attack? Some of you guys have been wanting to see that. Um, apologize about the audio of this video. Again, I'm in my car, uh, just getting off work for the weekend. And I know right when I get home, I'm going to have chores and responsibilities and all those fun things that wives are for. <sighs> anyway, so I'm going to attack uh, a base. I did get on a little bit late to the, the rising uh, claim, so <laughs> nothing was available above number 27. So let's go ahead, give it a scout, and I will show you guys what I'm going to do. So here's the base. Nothing too spectacular. Um, what I plan to do here is to basically... Uh, bring in a go Govalo on this base. As you can see, the air defenses, there's two in the core and there's one kind of up top. And then uh, I'm going to have the ability here to go ahead and uh, kill the clan castle as part of the lure. But um, I guess I'll just get out my drawing tools here and show you the plan. So my golems, I'm going to park one right here on that wall. And then I'm going to have the other kind of curl around this wall and go to the cannon. Uh, that is going to distract all of the, the archer towers and all that good stuff. Um, I plan on dropping the one on the left first um, so that my uh, troops can deal with the clan castle over in this area. I'll put a poison spell down somewhere about right there, uh, maybe a little bit further out. And then I'm going to drop in a wizard here um, to funnel that uh, dark spell factory. And I'll probably drop in, you know, three or so, uh, maybe a fourth to go ahead and combat the... Um, the clan castle troops and then I'm actually going to uh, bring in some wizards all the way over on this side as well uh, to go ahead and get that funnel made so at that point when that's all done I'm gonna get my Valkyries and my my king and I'm gonna start them up here and they're gonna basically head in uh, to the base uh, that way they're just gonna follow the little breadcrumbs um, that are left from the uh, Golem going in, um, the buildings that are left up, they're just going to follow those into the core. So I'm going to drop a quad quake spell, and I'm going to do that right here to open up uh, open up the core. It's going to open up all of the air defenses. The Valks are going to go in, get that taken care of, and then I've got a heal spell that will be waiting for them as well, somewhere like that. So um, after that's done, the back end balloons are going to come in. And then we will go ahead and just drop them uh, about like this. Uh, maybe one here if the uh, wizards don't get that. And then we'll just kind of, you know, drop them in like that. I've got 10, I believe. And uh, we'll just see how it goes. So um, the sweeper is over here. So I'll probably try to take that out early. I'll probably drop in uh, maybe some initial balloons, maybe three balloons here after the air defenses are taken care of. Uh, that way we, we can get that, uh, that sweeper targeted and taken out early. So that's the plan, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's do it. Check the uh, army composition. Everything's looking okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Why not? Let's go. And uh, 
gonna have a lot of troops left over, so, you know, it is what it is. Pretty weak base, but, uh, it didn't go great. Wasn't super happy with how clean it was, but that cane's gonna tank nicely for the, uh, the last couple here. Holy crap, lots of traps. That's gonna cut into my cleanup, uh, for sure, so I'm relying on my Valks at this point. Uh, but it's still gonna be plenty. I've got my ability left. Uh, lots of Valks, lots of time. Um, so, just absolutely air mine central on the uh, the back end cleanup there, um, but should get this uh, regardless. So, King goes down at this point, so we're gonna have to focus on getting that mortar taken out, which does happen. And then we've got two buildings left. Go ahead and look around, make sure we don't have any stragglers. We don't. Didn't see that on the scout, but uh, gonna end up being three stars for the good guys. So. Uh, you know kind of sloppy um a little bit was my fault one of one of the things that happened i noticed i didn't wait long enough on my golem uh up on that top right side yay sweet um <laughs> so we'll go ahead and watch the replay um so the first thing that i noticed that happened there's a couple things that you know part of it is hot as hell in here i turned off the ac so there wasn't any sound distractions a little bit muggy holy crap so up top notice that golem that's walking he had to walk all the way around that wall piece and it happened incredibly slow so i dropped my wizard too fast up there on the top right and that archer tower um, that's firing at them um, it had not locked onto the golem yet so i burned a couple archers or a couple wizards there um, that i shouldn't have had happen and then notice the poison spell was very slow going down i should have had that down already um, but the wizards take care of the uh, the dragon no problem uh, just in time before the, the golem goes down, but they do get that taken out. The quad quake was great, um, but unfortunately, uh, all those buildings that are still up on top, those were supposed to be down because those wizards were supposed to survive because notice how that archer tower is shooting at the golem. Um, if I had been on time with that, when I dropped my heal spell here, my, my Valkyries wouldn't have bailed and gone up to take out the air defense and the mortar. So uh, a little bit early on the heal, but again, that was a, a product of being... Um, a little bit uh, too quick with the wizards up top so I get the the wizard tower taken out and my goal there again guys was to get over and take out that air sweeper as soon as I as soon as I could um, everything's going fine I sent in a couple uh, yeah so it looks like the loons that went into that top air uh, archer tower get get it down to a sliver but don't take care of it and then the air sweeper is down so that was never a factor for the balloons um, everything's going pretty much fine uh, the only problem is we're going to run into some air mines towards the end. And that's just kind of unpredictable. It's just one of those bet the farm type of deals that you're hoping that, you know, some poor soul like me has all of his, uh, I mean, look at that, just boom, holy crap. And then the wizard tower finishes it off. But plenty of troops left up uh, still remaining. He is going to go ahead and get the three star for the good guys. WHF rising on top once again. We should have another perfect war out of this one. Uh, I believe five out of the last six wars have been perfect war uh material for whf rising so congrats to them keep up the good work uh sorry i had to dip so low on this one these guys are if you don't get in immediately um you're not going to get a claim so you can see uh they're off and running once again uh taking down bases left and right i'm glad i was able to contribute there and uh, keep the three-star train going so guys power bank signing out for now whf rising in route to another perfect war we'll hope to put that together for you and maybe bring you a recap for that uh in the next video so uh for now this is power bank signing out have a good one Hey guys, what's going on? How are you doing? Uh, the sun is setting behind me. It's absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, whatever. I'm using that as a great excuse to pull over and do another live attack for you, give you guys a bonus. Um, figured while I'm here in the Town Hall 8 clan, why not get a second live attack in the books? Uh, so I'm going to do a little go-ho on this base. So looking at this base, there's a large open compartment. And you'll notice that that large open compartment has a lot of potential for double giant bombs. Um, you could have some here, here. Um, you know, there could be some over here, there could be here, uh, multiple locations in this base for, for bombs. So my goal is to eliminate as many as possible, uh, all those places. So what I'm going to do is choose the angle that I come in at, and I'm going to drop in a golem right here and a golem over here. 
And then I'm also doing this to eliminate a lot of the hard cleanup, all these storages that are there. I'm going to drop a wizard and then a lot of wizards here behind uh, to go ahead and clean that up. And then to get into the base, I'm actually going to drop a quad quake spell right here. And that's going to open up the core and funnel my troops straight in. And then once they're in there, I'm going to start trickling in hogs. And my goal is to go ahead and start over in this area here as soon as the king uh, locks on to the kill squad and is occupied. That way the, the troops should um, start, you know, kind of moving their way through um, as they, you know, kind of get in. You know what, though? Honestly, I'm kind of looking at this. You guys can see my thought process real time because it's really like the first time I looked at the base aside from deciding what strategy I'm going to use. If I go this way, I can drop one in while the, uh, the point defenses on the outside are hitting my golem. So I can take out some defenses cheaply that way. And then I can actually um, probably head in uh, right here with a, a bigger drop of hogs, path into that uh, air defense, then to the mortar, and then head out around the base like this, mm -hmm. and then uh, use my heal, heal spell, um, you know, kind of on the back side where it's needed. So if the hogs path into the core, you know, we'll drop a heal for them where necessary, but that should be plenty to get them through the base. So gonna kind of wing this one guys uh doing it for you so again uh pardon the sound no no headset just rocking it in the car we'll see what happens guys let's uh go ahead check the troops here got some valkyries in the clan castle to go ahead and be some damage dealing in the core a little tanky hopefully take out that king um do have only one spell uh to use uh for the hogs so we'll we'll make it work here we go guys So everything looking pretty good. The hogs are on the edge of the ring. I just lost quite a few to spring trap. Oh well, uh, hopefully we don't lose more to the springs, but uh, wizard cleaning up the, the one side, everything looks pretty good to go. Um, you know, got the cleanup working properly. Pretty solid little go-ho. Um, yeah, so we'll take it. It'll be a six star war for old PB down in the Town Hall 8 clan. Uh, pretty happy with that, you know, it's a, it's a nice change of pace coming down and hitting some of these bases um, after facing, you know, maxed out Town Hall 9s every war, if not hitting uh, max Town Hall 10s for two stars. So, um, going to get the three here. We'll go ahead and... Uh, where are we missing the building at? Oh, the army camp over there. Um, <laughs> well, that's funny. I wonder why they skipped that. It was literally right in front of them. So, uh, we will go ahead, recap this real quick, see what could have gone better. Um, the CC kill did get my golem, but it did a really nice job weakening that dragon up uh, in the poison. So, six pack for PB, indeed. Thank you, guys. Um, so, we'll go ahead and recap real quick, and we'll 
tack this on to the first video where I told y'all goodbye because uh, I didn't know I was going to pull over and do this one. So we'll just throw it on in the editing process. And uh, first thing that happens is the golems go in. Um, a couple hogs here. Now watch the value that the hogs get. So everything's shooting at the uh, the golem there. And so they, they're going to get a couple defenses just for, for the cost of two hogs there. So really nice job. And uh, they're going to go ahead and... Uh, work the other side here that uh, that golem's gonna work its way in trigger a bomb so that was really nice and then as the kill squad kind of moves in uh, we drop the poison spell where we know those dragons and the uh, balloons are gonna sit for a while and then trail the king and the valk so they don't get murdered too bad um, notice the balloons go down without any help at all um, and then the the wizards help that poison spell finish off that dragon so really no damage done at all um, the wizards step up while the king's working on the, uh, you know, the the golemites there, and they take him out really nicely. So he's out of the out of the way, and then just trickling in hogs like we talked about, um, you know, through this section here. And I kind of thought there might have been a bomb in this compartment, and I was slow on my heel just because I was trying to delay it as long as possible. But that's why I dropped those hogs in from the right there, just in case if there was a bomb there, um, that those Teslas wouldn't be able to finish it off by because they were busy shooting at hogs that were uh, closer to them. So the heal spell goes in to heal up that group of hogs, then I drops them into the backside, and notice everything in the core is firing, or everything on the outside ring is firing at the, the troops in the core. The hogs finish up uh, on the ring, uh, everything looking really good. So uh, really nice uh, raid here, you know. It, it wasn't perfect, but it was also a first attack, and knowing where the bombs are in you know hindsight makes it a lot easier to plan for pre-triggers and uh, heal spots and all that kind of stuff. So hope you guys like the raid. Uh, this is Power Bang bringing you my very first town hall 8 live attack session um going up to pick up that last camp to get the six stars for the good guys anyways guys let's go check out the score real quick uh do a little quick update and hopefully give you guys a preview of what's to come we've got uh chronocide finishing up uh on number 28 here we'll see how that goes um but look at this we <laughs> just absolutely smashing so far um we did miss one at this point somebody hitting pretty far above himself um, trying to, you know, get some practice in, of course, but uh, uh, really nice. So anyways, guys, Power Bang, signing out until next time. Take care.